it wasn't supposed to be this way. Following a string of consecutive postponements earlier this year, Staley Bridge Celtic are having to contend with a congested fixture list to complete the season. Steve Burside arrived at Hurst Cross having been knocked out of the Cheshire Senior Cup at the semi-final stage just 24 hours earlier. Those who travelled from Celtic made the journey in faith rather than expectation, as Jody Bannim's Ashton side have enjoyed a memorable campaign at the top end of the table and looked destined for a playoff spot. But football can be a funny old game and so it proved on Tuesday night. After a lively opening to the game where both sides had chances, it was Ashton who took the lead through Lewis Baines. A corner delivered to the back post made its way to Baines who nodded home from a tight angle. Ashton smelt blood and continued to push for a second. Scunthorpe United low knee Jack Dyche hit the post from a tight angle before Daniel Moon it was unable to connect to a wicked cross from Nick Evangelinos. Evangelinos should have put Ashton two goals to the good shortly after, but he was unable to steer his shot on target after evading Liam Dickinson's challenge. In fairness to Celtic, the early scares didn't phase them, and they came close to levelling matters at the other end of the pitch. Ollie Roberts hit an effort just wide of the post. Dyche had a chance to give Ashton a two-goal cushion ahead of the break, but he could only guide his header wide of the target. The Robins started the second half as they ended the first, on the front foot and searching for that killer second goal. And they would have got it had it not been for an eagle-eyed linesman, who ruled out Aaron Chalmers' close-range strike. George Sykes Kenworthy has joined Celtic from Bradford City on loan until the end of the season, and the 18-year-old shot stopper made a string of fine saves to keep his side in the game. Moonley was firstly denied by the man in green, before Liam Thompson watched his shot comfortably saved. Dave Carnell had been a passenger for most of the game, but Connor Hughes called him into action with a deflected effort on the edge of the box. However, there was nothing Carnell could do shortly after, as Bryce Pooman's wicked cross into the six-yard box was powered home by Wolfenden. Ashton went in search of a second goal, but found Sykes Kenworthy in no mood to concede. Celtic should have been dead on their feet by now, but Burside somehow found it in them to muster up a surprise late winner. Jake Charles had his initial block saved, but the 22-year-old recovered well and fired an effort into the bottom right corner. As the game entered its dying minutes, Nicky Platt had the chance to salvage a point for Ashton, but his effort on the edge of the box troubled the Hurst Cross residents more than the shot stopper. And with virtually the last piece of action, Dyche capitalised on a loose ball inside the box, but he could only strike at the keeper. A huge opportunity miss for the Robins, but a massive step forward for Steve Burr's side, who amazingly have another six games to play in nine days.